Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can build a website for your YouTube channel or like your Twitch stream without knowing how to code at all. Having a website as like a creator, like a Twitch streamer or a YouTuber or whatever really is really good because you can kind of like consolidate your online presence all into one place if that makes sense. And that's nice because it makes it easy for people to be able to find you and watch all of your content, follow you on all your social medias and things like that. So we're going to be diving into all that in today's video, but before we do get started, please remember to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications, and comment below saying you did it, because you might be able to get a post notification shout out like this one on the screen right now. Also, while you're doing that, drop a comment below. Why do you want to build your own website? I'm really curious, but anyways, while you guys are doing that, let's get on with the video. So the service that we're going to be using is going to be Streamlabs, and if you're already a streamer on like Twitch or YouTube, then you probably already know about the company. Basically, they're a startup that's helping creators like you and I um, essentially make a living off of doing what we love, which is creating content. Now, while that's like making YouTube videos or streaming on Twitch or whatever, Streamlabs honestly has your back. So go ahead and head over to the website in the description below and click on it, and then from there, sign into your YouTube channel if you stream on there, and sign into your Twitch channel if you stream on there. I do want to clarify that if you do use that link, it's going to end up helping me out a lot, but uh, it's all good if you don't. You can just go to streamlabs.com and it's totally fine if you do it that way as well. Alright, so let me quickly sign into my YouTube channel. For you, it's probably just going to ask you sign into YouTube or sign into Twitch, so I'm going to quickly sign into YouTube. Oh, hey, Pokimane. I love you. Okay, let's sign in. Alright, sweet. So when you are signed in, all you want to do is click on the My Website button right here, and when you do that, it's going to take you to their online editor. So, like I said before, having a website as a creator is really cool because you can essentially consolidate your online presence into just one place, and that's really cool in case you want to show like potential sponsors or uh, partners that you might be working with in the future. So when you come to my site, the first thing that you're going to see if I'm live is going to be like my live stream right here, and you can also donate from here if you want to, it's essentially like the Streamlabs donation page. Then right here you have a live like Twitter feed of whatever I'm tweeting. Um, you know, if you don't follow me on Twitter, what are you doing? Go follow me on Twitter right now. Uh, and then right here I have like two little Twitch panels, my setup in case you guys want to know like what my PC and uh, streaming specs are. A little about me section in case I want to like tell some sponsors like what I do and how long I've been doing YouTube and things like that. Um, scrolling down a bit more you can see all my recent uploads and I can also create posts on here. And I can also like put all my tweets on here as well which is pretty dope. Um, right here this is what I was talking about before. Um, you can essentially consolidate your online presence into one place which is really cool because you just come to my website and then you can see oh here's my Twitter, here's my YouTube, Instagram and you can join my Discord server. So all that just from those same place it's really cool and it helps like new viewers like essentially find out where they can find you wait is that the is that the ice cream truck outside man i got it be right back guys <sighs> he, he left before i got there all right back to the video but anyways um so the cool thing about streamlabs uh editor is that you can actually see what it looks like on pc you can also check it out on tablet too so like this is if you're on, like like on an ipad like this is what it would look like for you and same thing for mobile too, so like this is what it's going to look like in case you're on mobile. Alright guys, so for some random reason my camera died, but we're back now. So anyways, um, the cool thing about Streamlabs is that, or creator sites, is that you can essentially see like what it's going to look like on tablet, desktop, and mobile. So you can essentially design your website specifically for every single device that you think someone might be actually checking it out on, if that makes sense. So anyways, another cool thing about creator sites on Streamlabs is that you can actually purchase a domain directly from their like service. And you can do it with just a few clicks, and honestly, I cannot stress how important it is to try and getting try getting the .com version of your name if you can. And two reasons why that's really important is one, in case you ever blow up, it's going to really help you protect your brand, and then two, you can get a custom email domain and so many other things for it too, which is going to really help you establish your brand overall. Now, a good example of this is uh, Ninja. So for him, for example, he had to buy TeamNinja.com because he wasn't able to get Ninja.com when he blew up. Someone else, someone else already had it. So that's a really good example. Um, so I highly recommend that you guys go and purchase your domain um, if you can. So for me personally, I can't get Moz.com because someone else already has it, but they had it way before I even started YouTube. So something I'm going to do is I'm going to get Moz.tv. I think that looks pretty cool. So all I have to do is hit confirm right here. And as Simple as that. I have Moz.tv now. That's how simple Streamlabs actually is whenever you want to purchase a domain from them. There you go. So now they're setting up my actual domain. It says Moz.tv is currently getting set up. We'll notify you by email once your domain is live. So simple as that. It literally only took me two clicks and now I own Moz.tv. Anyways, now we can go back to the main menu while that's getting set up. And one thing I did skip over was the theme. So I'm going to quickly show you guys that right now. So as you can see, um, they have a couple good free ones available. So they have classic, dark mode, and they have a couple down here as well. Um, and then they have a couple of these ones that say Prime right here as well. And you will want to buy a Prime subscription from uh, creator sites or Streamlabs in case you guys do want to use these other themes. But um, personally, right now, I'm using dark mode because I just seem to love dark mode on like Twitter, YouTube, literally everything. So I'm using it on my website as well. I'll talk more about their Prime subscription later. But as you can see, they honestly have a really good amount of themes already available. And they're definitely going to be adding more as time goes on like creator sites is pretty new this is only like one of the first few weeks that's even been out so um i'm sure they're going to add some more like within the coming months and they're probably gonna have a ton by the end of the year 
And uh, rightfully so, you guys might be curious, like, how can I test out some of these themes? All you have to do is literally just click on it, and then you can hit apply theme, and it's going to actually apply the theme to your website, and then you can, like, start making customizations based off that. So I'm going to go back to my dark mode one, because I'm not a big fan of this one, and I don't think it fits my, like, aesthetic, but it does fit, like, the 100 Thieves Windbreaker that I'm wearing right now, or the Anorak. But anyways, let's get back on with the video. Alright, so the next thing that I want to show you guys, since I already showed you guys the themes and the domain, is the design tab. And it's a pretty cool tab because you can, like, truly customize whatever you want to, like, fully match your brand, if that makes sense. So whether you use, like, specific colors in, like, all of your videos or, like, on your channel art and things like that, or whether you use, like, a specific font and things like that, you can literally, like, add all that stuff into your website as well. So, let's say that the color I usually use for my channel is... Damn it, did my camera die again? Okay, guys, I'll be back in a second. Alright, so while that charges, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the video. So what I was talking about was that you can basically make your website match the exact style from just a few clicks of your, like, brand. So, um, let's say that, like, the colors that I use on my, like, channel are, like, blue. All I have to do is go to the section background color, go here, and then just change it to blue or something, right? And then look, all these update, all the panels update, like, obviously this doesn't look too good because I'm just, like, testing it out, but you can play around with it and, like, try to make it blend a bit more, you know, probably make it a bit darker. Like, this is starting to match a bit more with kind of, like, the background, but obviously it doesn't look that well, but, you know, like, you kind of get the point. You can basically, like, play around in this design tab, you can play around with the font styles, you can play around with so much stuff to actually make it match your brand, which is insanely awesome because you don't have to know how to do any coding whatsoever. Alright, cool, so now scrolling down, another thing that I want to show you guys is components. So all you have to do is just hit the plus button right here, and it's going to ask you what kind of, like, box or, like, what kind of, like, row you want to actually add to your website. So let's say that I want to add one that has, like, two things on the side and one thing on one side one thing on the other side, right? So now one thing I could do is I could go up here, right? And let's say I didn't want my Twitter over here. I could bring it all the way down. So I'm going to quickly sauce that over there. And then I think this accidentally went over here. So I'm going to put that there again. All right, cool. So now I have my Twitter feed right here. And then let's say I want to add something else over here. So um, let's say I want to add a text box. I could add a text box right here. Let's say that I want to like make a message for sponsors so that they could like actually get in touch with me. They could know where they can reach out to me, what kind of things I do. Like if I do pre-rolls, pre if I do sponsored videos and things like that. So it would be pretty similar to how I have the about me panel right here. Like I'd probably talk about myself a bit like, Hey, my name is Moz. I make tech and gaming videos. Um, blah, blah, blah. Right. So I can just talk about like whatever I want to talk about right here. And you know, that's essentially how components work. Right. So for components, you can have a bunch of stuff right here. So let's say I want to add a contact form. All I would do is hit the plus button, click this big one right here, and then add the contact form right here. And in case I want to make it bigger, I'd hit section settings and then I'd go ahead and change the section height a bit more. Um, I definitely think websites are great for sponsors and partners because then they can actually look at your entire website. They can see everything about you. They can see if you're live. They can go ahead and actually like look at all of your following. They can join your Discord if they want to to see what your community talks about. They can subscribe to your YouTube, follow your Twitter, Instagram, whatever. They can see what you've been uploading and so many other things. So anyways, moving on from that, I want to talk about the next tab, which is going to be the SEO settings. So right here, um, if it's essentially basically like you. YouTube. If you've seen my videos on how to grow on YouTube, then you know I always talk about SEO and how important it is, and it's essentially what's going to help you rank higher in the YouTube and Google search. It's honestly basically the same thing for websites too. You want to work on your SEO so that you can actually have your website show up higher when someone searches for something related to you, but on Google and things like that. And another cool thing is that you can actually directly upload a favicon, I think that's how you say it, directly from the Streamlabs website. So a favicon is essentially like how I have the Twitter bird right here, I have the Sony little logo right here, and I have the Streamlabs logo right here. So I just did a quick little Google search for myself, and right here, this is the first one that shows up, it's going to be my YouTube channel. So this right here is the title, the one that says Moz-YouTube, then this right here is my description. Um, same thing for my Twitter, this is the title, and then this right here is my description, which is automatically going to be my Twitter bio. So that's exactly what you can set up right here from the Streamlabs Creator uh, dashboard, essentially. You can make your own title and your description, and you can also add some keywords as well, which is going to help you rank higher. So anyways, moving on from that, one more thing that I actually forgot to cover was the custom email tab. So right here, once you do have your domain, like I did get Moz. TV earlier on in the video. I can set up a mailbox right here. So let's say that I want it to be like hello at moz.tv, right? So if anyone emails me at hello at moz.tv, I could actually forward it to my normal email, which is moz.yt at gmail.com. That's my current business email, right? So if someone emails hello at moz.tv, it's going to go to moz.yt at gmail.com and it's going to look way more professional. But anyways, one more thing I do want to quickly talk about is going to be, I think it's in the content tab. Yeah, right here. So you can actually add a page or an external link. So let's say you want to do that. I'll click that real quick external link and uh, let's say that I want to add a playlist so my Spotify playlist right so I can quickly type in playlist right there and all I have to do is just go to my Spotify playlist really quick and grab the link so just open up my Spotify playlist all I have to do is go to Moz's playlist right here 
right click share and then copy the playlist link obviously this is just like an, a random example but i'll have to do right here just paste the link right now i'm gonna go back to the beginning and then remove the https part because that's already like pre-filled right here so i can remove that i can hit add link and now all i have to do is close out of this and as you can see i do have a playlist little external link right here in my menu which is really cool because let's say someone was actually on my website right so if i hit save and publish real quick and then i go to moz.tv in a new tab um all i have to do is go to the playlist tab right here and it's going to automatically open up my spotify playlist so in case someone or like one of my fans or someone wants to actually listen to some of my music that i listen to they can all right awesome so this is actually what my website looks like right now and if you guys do head over to moz.tv right now on your own like phone or your tablet or your web browser or whatever you guys should see something pretty similar to what you guys are seeing right now on the screen um, one thing I do want to mention is that I am a YouTube streamer, I don't really stream too much on Twitch, so right now I don't really have an offline screen right here, but if I was live right now, then you would see a live stream right here, and it would be perfectly embedded into the actual website. Um, one thing I do want to show you guys as an example is a Twitch streamer, and this is going to be Mrs. Dr. Lupo. So, she's a Twitch streamer, and as you can see, this is what her offline screen looks like. Um, I'm sure they're going to be working on something that they can do for YouTube streamers soon, but right now there's really not a good substitute for it, but I've talked with uh, their developer, and hopefully he can get on that soon. But one really cool thing that Twitch streamers can use that YouTube streamers can't using the creator sites is that you can actually embed your own live chat into the website right so if you're signed into twitch you can literally type in your message right here and hit send and it's gonna actually show up and you can see everyone else typing as well which is really dope if you ask me and since i am already on her website i guess i can show you guys what it looks like so right here she has an about me section like i have on mine she also has her popular twitch clips right here and I believe you can also add like your tweets on here and your YouTube videos and things like that. Like on mine, you have my YouTube videos right here. I could also add my tweets and things, but I don't do that because I already have my tweets right here. Uh, hey, what's up, Drake? Uh, but anyways, you can also donate right here. Um, here's your social media. Here's your countdown to her next stream. Um, I'm not too sure what this is. Maybe like a playlist or something. And then right here, just some random Twitch panels. So... Anyways guys, that's about it for today's video. If you guys do want me to make more useful tutorials like this one, then please smash that like button and comment below letting me know. Also, so sorry that my camera died earlier on in the video. I definitely should have charged that, but I promise that's not going to happen in the future. And also let me know how you guys do like the new camera. I think it's amazing and uh, I really want to know what you guys think as well. Also, big thank you to Streamlabs for reaching out and even asking me to even help out with this video in general. Also, feel free to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as we are on our way to 200,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But on that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.